Hi, my name is Peter Blackman, and I'd like to uh, talk to you today about something that's uh, uh, been bothering me for a while, and and uh, see what you think about it. Uh, one of the things that I think is going to bury this country if we don't do something about it in the near future is our food system, our our health uh, system, and and the way uh, it's working in this country, and and. What I'm going to tell you, you may not have, maybe you don't understand, is that one of the things that the the World Health Organization put out a report uh, several years ago, and and uh, one of the things that were number one in the United States is the amount of money that we spend on on uh, health uh, products and uh, medic and medical uh, problems. And uh, we're 37th in the world in life expectancy. So there's a definite, definite issue here with uh, the amount of money we spend and uh, the results that we're getting. Um, there are several things that you can look at, and one of them is maybe we just uh, spend too much money uh, because of the capitalistic uh, uh, society and supply and demand. We just uh, charge too much for our uh, medical uh, and our our drugs and stuff like that. Uh, the other issue is that um, uh, maybe we just um, um, uh, are um, not uh, doing a good job. And so, and I think one of the things uh, that you need to understand is that the cure of a disease is actually in the prevention. And so what, you, what we don't do enough of in this country is preach uh, maintenance and, and taking care of our bodies before uh, we get sick. And, and I think it, because we're a capitalistic society, we are looking to make money for our stockholders. So the food industry and the drug industry are uh, uh, very good examples of this. And, and so they're more concerned in producing products that have a long uh, shelf life and so make more money for the uh, stockholders, um, putting additives in it to make it taste better, uh, uh, putting additives in, into it to even make you crave the product more so that they'll sell more of the product and therefore make more money for the stockholders. And in the drug companies, it's the same thing as they're interested more in uh, getting back their return on their research, and uh, getting and than they are in the maybe the uh, uh, actual helping of the pers the people. Um, they're not interested in curing because you can look back at at Salk and the polio thing and what happened to that when Salk came up with a cure for polio. The whole industry went away and and. Uh, the drug companies can no longer make money on that because it's not an issue anymore. And so they really have a pro. I, I think an underlining problem with actually coming up with cure for things, because what's the what's the motivation for it? And so if you find a product that is uh, costs three or four dollars to make and and maybe sell, and it does the same thing as a as a a thousand dollar product. And well, which one are you going to tell people about? You're not going to tell them about the cheaper one because you can't make any money on it. So, um, what I'm uh, what I'm getting at is that there's uh, d definite issues uh, within both these industries, and the only way they're going to be solved is to, uh, uh, in time, people are going to get tired of it. N until that happens, uh, what what you can do to help yourself is to maintain your own body and that is to take supplements and uh, vitamins are, uh, are are really not what I'm talking about I'm talking about taking things that are alive so when you take things that are alive they're going to help your body as opposed to things that are dead anything that's cooked or pasteurized is dead and so that is not going to help your body and it is another relationship that people don't understand is your body is mostly alkaline okay and it wants to be alkaline and then when we feed it constantly with products that are dead which are acidic then 
the body has to work that much harder to make it alkaline and in time it wears down and you end up with disease and so what you need to do what we need to do is uh, teach people about uh, educate people about this alkaline acidic relationship and if you can you know, take a piece of litmus paper and measure your uh, uh, your acidity or your pH value you can tell how you're doing uh, but anyway what you need what we need to do is take more products that are alive and uh, juices uh, um, nutritional juices are very much alive and so there's a lot of good products on the market I'm not going to talk about any of them right now but this is what we need to do is to help ourselves first and then work on the issues of the industry and and I think if we get tired of it enough we'll be able to do something about it thank you for your time and we'll be talking later